Hey Kid Time, welcome to another week of uh, Kid Time video. Today we're going to have a story for you. Uh, it's all about a mummy and a baby fox. Uh, and the mummy makes the baby fox a delicious honey cake. And while we're thinking about food, we also have a video uh, sent in from Ange and Harper showing us how to bake a delicious oat slice. So stay tuned for that as well. Hope you're all doing really well. We miss you lots. Uh, enjoy the story time. Enjoy the uh, baking. And if you have any things you want to send in to us, we'd love to see them as well. Talk to you all soon. Today's book is called Too Small for Honey Cake. It's all about a fox and her two little baby foxes. Come and see your new baby brother, said Mummy Fox. But that's my cradle, whispered Little Fox. Why, Little Fox, you wouldn't fit it now, smiled Mummy. You've grown so big and strong. Little Fox peered inside. He's got an awfully squashed nose, hasn't he? Little Fox said. When will Baby Fox be able to play with me? Not for a little while yet, said Mummy, lifting Baby Fox into her arms and rocking him gently. Now, Little Fox, will you be really good and play quietly for a while? Do you think he can? Little Fox got out his bricks. He made a very big castle. Look at that castle. Look at my castle, Mummy! He shouted. What a fine castle, she said. But she didn't look at him. As she rocked Baby Fox, she hummed a little song. It was the special song she used to sing to Little Fox. Crash! Little Fox knocked his castle to the ground. Bricks flew everywhere. Wah! screamed Baby Fox. Wah! Oh dear, sighed Mummy Fox. Now you've woken him up. It's too noisy in this house, grunted Little Fox. I'm going out to play. Baby foxes are all wah, wah, he said. They can't play at anything. Baby foxes are stinky. And he stamped very hard in a big puddle, just as Mummy poked her head around the door. Oh, oh it's gone on the washing. Why, little fox, you're all muddy and you've splashed all the clean washing. I don't care, shouted little fox. I'm not living in this house anymore. Under the stairs was a big cupboard. Little Fox crawled inside. It was rather dark and dusty. He left the door open a little bit. This is my house now, said Little Fox. He sat all alone in the darkness. Nothing's not nice now, he said, rubbing his eyes. Mummy doesn't love me now. She's got that new baby. He gave the cupboard door a good kick and sat among the cobwebs and thought very bad things. You see the spiders in there with him? Stinky poo baby, he shouted. Put him in the bin. Then he made up a very bad song. Baby fox is a stinky poo. Put him in a box and send him to the zoo. And he sang it three times, very loud. He's a bit cranky, isn't he? Then he sat back and looked around him. How dark it was in the cupboard. He opened the door a bit wider. He could hear Mummy Fox humming a little song. There was a warm, spicy smell coming from the kitchen. Suddenly, Little Fox felt rather lonely. It's been a v I've been a very, very cross fox, he said. Now Mummy will never love me again. And a tear trickled down his cheek. Just then, the cupboard door opened wide and a smiley face peeped round. Who is that? It's his mummy. Hello, said mummy. I've just taken a honey cake out of the oven and I'm missing my little fox so much. You've got a baby fox now, he whispered. I know, said mummy, but I do so need my own best little fox. He crawled out of the cupboard and scrambled into his mother's arms. Will you always love me, Mummy? He whispered, forever and ever. Forever and ever, smiled Mummy, and she gave him a very big hug. 
and they sat by the fire and ate honey cake. Poor baby fox, said mummy. He's much too small for honey cake. Never mind, baby fox, said little fox kindly. When you're bigger, you can have a bite of mine. Well, isn't that a lovely story? Uh, it's good to remember that our parents always love us, uh, make us yummy food, uh, and even when other little brothers and sisters come along, we can all be a happy family together. Uh, enjoy this lovely baking video now, uh, and hopefully you can bake it yourself at home. Thank you.